Auzubillahiminashaitanirajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum, my name is Shweb Khan and welcome to MaxAfter.com. Today's tutorial is about Mental Ray in 3DS Studio Max. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be covering texture mapping, lighting and rendering in Mental Ray. Basically this is what we'll be doing. Before we start the tutorial, I would recommend a book that a friend of mine has written. His name is Jamie Caduso, and uh, Jamie and I were in the university together, and he wrote this book, and this book covers almost all the topics related to a mental ray. If you can afford it, then definitely go for it. This tutorial comes with this scene, so you can open the scene as well and uh, start working with me. It's a very simple scene. So basically, we'll start with the texture mapping first, and before that, we need to, of course, load mental ray. For, so for that, you need to go to the rendering and render, you come into the common panel, scroll it down here you come to assign renderer so open this and in assign renderer you go to production and if you click this button here it'll, show, it'll give you the option to load mental ray renderer so you click here and say ok so now basically you've got mental rays loaded so when you render it you'll see that it renders in bucket let's close this for now okay the next thing is I'm going to tell you about the, the unit system as well when you're doing a professional job then you have to know the what unit system you're working with and um, you need for that you need to go to customize in customize unit setup but we'll, we'll work in this generic unit in this project future reference then you have to go and click here metric so if you're working with meters go and work in meters or millimeters then if you, you go for millimeters so mostly it is meters so it depends on the job that you're doing so this is also an important thing because uh, the settings of the light and shadows and everything change with this so but for now we we'll just uh, go with generic units um, so click here and we say okay so the next thing is we'll go to material editor and in material editor as you can say it's all normal certain shaders to load up the mental ray shaders what you need to do is to uh, select the first one and go to standard in standard you just load up architecture and design double click here it loads up architecture and design shader so now here you've got the list of templates that you want to use for example it has got matte it has got pearl glossies uh, wood textures and you know everything is already made up go and click it and start working with it you know first thing is you need to create material for the wall uh, so what we do is just write wall here so for the, for the wall we'll just come and select a template which is uh, pearl if you highlight pearl you also get the information here that says create soft blurry reflections without affecting colors or maps so we'll go pearl finish and we click here and also we write here as well pearl finish it's a good way to remember uh, what template you have applied so it's best to write it here you know otherwise if you just write wall then you probably won't notice that what, what shader you have applied so we change the color here first let's say change to just a light color as you can see the rest is diffuse color roughness leave everything as it is then we select our walls for selecting all the walls you come in here and select objects so you just click the walls here this wall door wall and window as well so when you select all these so you can see that all the walls are selected now so what we do is just we we apply the material by clicking here okay so we have applied the wall material here so for a quick render we just go and click here the material is applied to the wall first we'll cover the texture and mapping and then we'll go to the proper to rendering you know so the next thing is we apply the material for the sofa which is uh, it's a leather sofa so we just get a go here and select the next one and right here sofa we do the same go to standard and arch and design material uh, so when you come here it gives you the template for this we'll go and use leather click leather again we we'll write here leather so we know that we applied the leather template to it and now all you need to do is just apply it if you render it see how it looks you see that's a bit dark because we, there are no lights here so we'll leave it as it is for now we do the tweaking uh, when we introduce the light so, so right now we're just basically loading up the templates if you can see that um, this table is uh, has got a glass and then the frame is of course metal so if you come here and uh, group and open it'll select the glass table so now for the glass material what we do is uh, again go to arch and design and write glass we select a template here you come down to glass thin geometry whatever you highlight you can also see the description you know in this area so for this we'll go to glass thin geometry and it has got a blue color as well 
So what we just do is we, we click here and apply to the table. And also, as you can see, the windows, you've got a glass panel here as well. So we'll apply the same material to the window as well. And now we come to the to the structure of the table. Uh, so we'll select the next uh, next available shader. And we go to standard again, arch and design, select a template, which is, which is chrome. So again, so we'll write table and we apply chrome to it. So we just select the table structure and we just apply chrome to it. And uh, the next thing is this ball here. 